Uh, we think that justice was done and we're relieved for the family especially. I know that this was a really difficult trial for them. Why did you guys recommend the minimum parole and eligibility on this? Uh, it was because, based on my knowledge of the case law, Carolina's too, it, it just, it's what people get for this kind of murder. Uh, it wouldn't be fair to ask for more knowing that other people have gotten 10 years parole and eligibility. He still gets the 25 year life sentence. Uh, he hasn't used a gun. There's no sign that he planned to hurt someone in advance. Uh, we often have second degree murders where we can't show that the person planned to kill that person, but we can show that they armed themselves in advance. Um, there was no torture, there was no um, evidence of, of taking pleasure in, in what had happened, and that will often raise it. And also, he's a very young man with no previous record. Very relieved. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I said before, this has been a long time coming and it's happy to see it go our way. It was very emotional. It was a bigger release, big release of emotion. You know, um, a lot of anxiety leading up to this point, and to have that kind of deflated and relief come in was a, a wave of emotion that we didn't expect. We had a good instinct amongst us ourselves that this was uh, a jury that was going to see the truth. You know, I mean, um, it is a just verdict. Um, I do believe that Canadian justice system is a very fair and legal justice and uh, you know yeah maybe I would like a bit more time but uh, you know he's gonna do 10 years and that that means a lot to us at least yeah at least exactly and I will be there in a nine and a half years when he's eligible for